Hello everyone, we will continue the topic enhancements and modification and from the last two videos we are learning how to create our own new body or kernel body means previously we only only did the body implementation part now we are doing body definition part also means we are learning how to create a new body definition how to create a kernel body definition and it's a additional learning yes when you work in the projects yes always always you will get a chance to implement the bodies through SC19 transaction code because body definitions are already given by SAP. We need to implement through SC19 transaction code. But now we are learning SC18 part also. So it's an additional learning to your career. It's an add-on to your career. Suppose previously, we covered implicit and explicit enhancements. At that time, we know enhancement point and section is given by SAP. We only, only need to implement. But after that, we also studied how SAP provided the enhancement point and section and how they are in enhancement spot. Same, same thing is applicable here. Now we are learning SC18 part also. We know project will always ask us to do SC19. But how SC18 part is also done by SAP. So we are learning those things also. And out of that, we also studied how SAP has written the logic, how we can declare the object of the body definition, how to create the object, how to call the method through the object. So this is an additional learning. And the main, main benefit you know, because sometimes people, sometimes people are not comfortable in touching the standard transaction code. If you will go by this way, your learning will never, never hamper because you are doing SC18 part also. So your learning will also be in the same way without touching the SAP standard transaction code. We can learn the body topic very, very well. And the main benefit of this kind of approach is for those people those who are working in product development. Because once you are working in product development, at that time, you will always, always create the body definitions. Because once you sell the product, those customer will do the body implementations. So now, what we will do? So body definition part is over. We created the body definition. We created the program. Now, we need to treat this program as a SAP program. Previously, we did this body implementation in which transaction code MM01. Now, rather than MM01, we need to take this program. And same to same approach, we will treat this program as a SAP program so that you can understand the concept very well. Yes, we develop this program, we know, but we need to treat this program as SAP program. If this is SAP program, can I directly go for change button? No, I cannot go for change button. This is the assumption. This is our assumption which we need to take. Now, firstly, we will take a requirement. Suppose customer is using this program. 
कस्टमर इज रनिंग द प्रोग्राम कस्टमर इज से आई वॉट द आउटपुट कैपिटल एक्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम Currently, this program is giving blank. I want the value x from this particular program. Now, firstly, same thing. We need to analyze. Can we achieve the requirement of the customer? Is this a feasible requirement from the customer? See, we are not changing the approach at all. Previously, we understood the same to same thing through MM01. Now, rather than MM01, we are doing the same to same thing into this program. Now, customer is saying, I want X from this particular program. Never, never blindly say yes to the customer. Because we have an assumption that this is SAP program. We will not go for change in this program. We will tell to the customer that we will check and let you know. Now, we will firstly see how to find a new body or kernel body. You all know whenever you want to find a new body or kernel body, what are the two statements you need to put breakpoint? Call body or get body. I can directly write the logic through SC19, but to give you a more clarity, I am simply, simply comparing it to previous approach, which we get. So what we will do? Firstly, we will go to debugging mode slash H. I will execute. We will put a breakpoint, breakpoints, breakpoint at statement. We will put a breakpoint on which statement? Call body and get body. This is approach we did previously. Same to same approach we are following. I will do F8. Now, program automatically stopped. So this is our new body or kernel body. I will simply, simply open the code in a new window. This is very small logic, but we need to treat this as a SAP program. So we will follow the same to same steps. This is our LO underscore body. If I will double click, it is referring to this particular thing. It means it is a object object. I will double click. In this, we have an interface. And in the interface, we have a method change. And what is the description of the method to change the value? Now we need to change the value from space to x. Can we achieve this requirement? Yes, we can achieve this requirement and we will simply, simply say yes to the customer. We are not changing our approach. Yes, we are doing this thing, but we need to follow the same practice which we are doing in SAP program. Now we can say yes to the customer that we can achieve your requirement. Now, what we will do, you all know, whenever you want to create body implementation, we need to go to which transaction code? We will go to SC19 transaction code. So I will go to SC19 transaction code. Now, we are going for new body implementation. So we will choose this particular radio button. Yes. Now, whenever you are going for new body, you need to give the name of enhancement spot. This is the first difference we covered when we covered between classic body and new body. So now we need to firstly give the name of the enhancement spot. 
I will click on to create button. I will give some name to the enhancement implementation. And we already covered this enhancement implementation is a container for body implementation. Enhancement spot is a container for body definitions. Enhancement implementation is a container for body implementation. I will give some name to the enhancement implementation. Suppose I am saying ZEI underscore change underscore value. Suppose I will give the text enhancement implementation. We'll go for OK. I will save it as a local object. Now I will give the name to the party implementation. Suppose I am saying Z body implementation change value. This body implementation, what is the container for this body implementation? Enhancement implementation. Now I will choose, I am creating a body implementation for this body definition. If you remember, this is the name of our body definition. We gave the enhancement spot. So whatever the body definition, it is coming automatically coming here. Now we will give the name to the class. You all know whenever you are creating implementation, you need to create class because we can write a logic in the class. I will give some name to the class. Suppose I am saying ZCL underscore change underscore value. We'll go for OK. I will save it as a local object. Now I will go for this class. This is the class. Whenever I will double click on the class, have you seen in the class interface name is automatically coming. We already covered in OOPS concept and previously also how the method name is appearing in the class interface name tilde operator method name. Now we will simply simply write the logic in the class. I will go for source code. I'll go to change mode. And then I will click on to source. Now I will write the logic. I will click on to this signature button so that I can see the parameter. What is the parameter name? P value. And what the value we want to pass it to this parameter? Capital X. Because what is the requirement of the customer? Customer want the result X. So we gave the value X to this particular parameter. We'll check the syntax. P value. I'll change. I'll go for syntax check and I will activate. So my class is active. I will go to back button. Class is active. Now I will simply simply activate the enhancement implementation also. So our enhancement implementation under this we have the body implementation. I will activate. It is inactive. I will activate. I'll go to back button. I think then it will show as active. I will copy this name. 
I'll put here because I already created the implementation. Yes, it is active. It is active, but it was not showing. So I just go back and show it. Okay. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we took a simple, simple approach that we will treat this program as a SAP program. It means we cannot go for direct change into this program. And what is the now the requirement from the customer? This program is giving the blank output. Customer bought the output as X. So now we will not say blindly yes to the customer. We'll firstly check the feasibility. And we put a breakpoint on call body and get body statement. The control stopped there. And we simply, simply saw that, yes, there is a method which is used to change the value. If I will pass the value X, yes, the particular method will display the value X. So we now, we went to SC19 transaction code. See, we are not changing this transaction code for this body definition. We are creating body implementation. So we went to SC19 transaction code. You all know whenever you are going for new body, you need to give the enhancement spot name. We gave the enhancement spot name. Then it asks for enhancement implementation. Enhancement implementation is container for body implementation. And we choose the body definition. We gave the class name. And in the class, we have written the logic. Just see, we have not done the direct changes in the program. I can directly show, go to SC19 and do that part. But you can simply, simply relate that what you did previously. We are doing same to same thing. That's why I put a break point and show this approach. In the next video, we will see the output of the program in the debugging mode. Is this program is giving the output X? Yes, we will check in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.